Welcome basketball fans to one of Bob Merce to my right and my favorite nights of the year. It's a doubleheader game. Battle of the Bishops basketball style. First game of the night is going to be the ladies. Bob, the first time these gals got together, it was a track meet. It was a track meet, Kenny, a great ball game. Uh, it's just going to be fun when Bishop Lures and Bishop Dwinger get together. But these two teams uh, know each other. They played earlier in the year. And hard to believe, but it was 88 to 82, Bishop Dwinger and 52 points for Emma Wolf. So you know Emma Wolf will be uh, definitely a girl that everyone's watching tonight. Gets it down on the baseline to Ross. Ross finds Winklejohn down on the inside. Good interior passing that time. Def definitely the right decision. Easy bucket for Greta. Long pass. Connected. That's her shot from the corner. Launch a three. Counted with she likes that shot from the corner. She has six points. First lead of the night for the Lady Knights. Beautiful Eight. pass inside. Bounce pass into Andrews. Andrews puts it up and in. I bet that gets her going. Back to a one-point ball game, 13 to 12. Looking for somebody to distribute it to. Going to swing it around. And Catherine Kanapke. Bang! Oh, boy, that's a good-looking wow. shot there. She has four points. Just inside the arc. But she rattled that one home. Now Kayla on the other side again. And nobody's up. guarding Wolf. Wolf got it again. She's going to put it up off the glass and in. Three or four offensive rebounds. They're going to get something to go sooner or later. Runger got killed on the boards of Kanapke and uh, Emma Wolf. In the lane. Up and in. Count it. Emma Wolf. Unless you follow her, you can usually not stop Emma Wolf. She's a one-man show tonight. 33-19. The Knights up by 14. And it's halftime here at Bishop Lures High School. Taya Andrews, their best player, has been most of the second quarter in foul trouble. And when you're guarding uh, Emma Wolf, you're going to get in foul trouble. So Andrews is on the bench. Bishop Dwenger is as cold as the weather outside. And that's leading. And the defense by uh, Lures is leading to uh, Dwenger having problems right now. Braun and Winklejohn banging each other. There's a good Bra shot. There's, there's by the Aaron shot Ryan. I was talking about. Aaron Ryan made a 17-footer, and it's clean. 33-21, your score. They get it down to the baseline, or excuse me, the box. Wow, interesting. Winger did not challenge that shot very much. Caleb can have to get an easy little look from about four or five feet on the left side. Ross, excuse me, she's going to go coast to coast. She puts it up and in. All of Here a sudden, Lures is, Lures is a little trouble. Dwinger is really uh, awakened from their offense slump, and we got a ball game, Kenny. We're, Dwinger's only down six. Coach Pickley says, I've seen enough of this. Time out on the floor, Bishop Lures. She looks comfortable with the rocks. She's going to put up a three early in the offense. It rattles around and finally drops. I think that might be her first or second three of the game. She needed that to uh, get her going. 42-37. Andrew Ryan gets it down inside to Winklejohn. Winklejohn puts it up. That's, and that's money in the bank, and Aaron Ryan is just making beautiful passes. 44-43. Bob, we're down to one point. Who would have thought game. this, huh, Kenny? The way this uh, way it was at halftime. Dwenger has really re-energized uh, themselves. They get it over the baseline. Oh, that's a Got big it. shot. What a big shot by Taylor Bradley. That's a surprise for Coach Pixley, I doubt. Yeah, I didn't expect her to put it up myself. I thought she was going to look for the pass, but she put it up and in. And Wolf for the basketball. She's kind of got numbers if she wants to keep going. Oh, that's that's exactly too easy for did. Emma. That was terrible defense by Bishop Dwenger there. They had a four on three, and they spread out nice to give her some room. Wolf blew around everybody anyway and put it up and in. How are they just like Emma Wolf has just taken off, oh. and I can't believe uh, Coach Inns is happy with the defense right now. And the buzzer is going to sound, and that is going to be your final score. 66-56 is the Knights avenge an early season loss. Dwenger just dug themselves too deep a hole. And we are joined by victorious coach Taylor Bradley, we thought was a, was a key to you. Yeah, she's a sophomore, and she just battles in practice. So, you know, it might be surprising to people that just came here, but she's done it in practice, and she's now getting her opportunity, and she's going to be a big part of our team down the stretch. Thanks for listening to Redeemer Radio. For Bob Mers, I'm Kenny Barr. We'll talk to you next Friday.